Hey, what's up guys? It's Uncle Kobe, and first thing, I want to say sorry I was not able to play with you guys yesterday like I wanted to. My internet was out all day, which sucked pretty bad, and my internet is actually still out. Uh, so today, I have a video just packed with all sorts of information that I found interesting, and things that I thought you guys would want to know. So everything I'm about to say has been 100% confirmed by David Vonderhaar, and it's going to be all over the place, so just bear with me. So starting off, music volume can be adjusted, and this is actually a big thing for me, because in MW3, at certain points during the game, you know, music would just start blasting, and if you're playing a game battles match or a certain destroy game, you really want to hear those little sound cues. So definitely when I'm playing a super serious or going all try hard game, uh, I'm going to be turning off the music. So next, you cannot have two of the same score streak rewards unless one is from a care package. I'm sure most of us already assumed that, but now it is confirmed. Also, for those who didn't choose a secondary for their loadout, you can pick up a gun and your primary weapon will still be the same. I usually won't be running a secondary, I'm planning on just picking up another weapon from a dead body if I need one, but this is still good to know. Next, you don't need to be in a party to enter league playing matches, you can go in there solo, but for Champions League, you do need to be in a full party of four. I might have already told you this in my video explaining the different leagues, but again, now it is confirmed. Also, just a side note, your combat record stats will also be kept in league play as well. So these next couple ones are actually pretty big. So first, Trek has no plans of releasing Nuketown 2025 to those who have not pre-ordered the game. That might change in the future, but as of right now, the only way of getting that bonus map is if you pre-order the game, which I think kind of sucks, but I, you know, I think you should be able to buy it if you really want it, and uh, if you didn't pre-order the game, but just keep in mind if you haven't pre-ordered it yet. This next one is very groundbreaking, I guess you could say. Domination is going to be a round-based game mode with halftime. So before Domination was whoever hit the point limit was the winner. This time, there's going to be two different rounds, and whoever has the most points overall after both of them will be the winner. This is how they did it for MLG when Black Ops 1 was on the circuit, and now they're going to be keeping it as the default rule set of the game mode. I would guess it's 5 minute rounds and you switch sides during halftime so you spawn on the other side. And I think this is a really cool idea what they're doing here because I really like this game mode and I think it will be a lot more competitive. And just to add something new and something fresh is always good. But let me know what you think, I personally like it, but I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. So this last one's really really cool and it's that players can make and store multiple emblems and then apply the one you prefer. And this was actually a heavily requested feature to be put into the game. No longer are you going to have to remake every emblem you want if you want to go back and use one that you used before. You can just keep making them and saving them. So if you want to use one from the past, you can just select it and you're good to go. So I think everyone's going to be happy with that. And I hope you're going to be able to file share your emblems. So if you have a clan or something, you can all have the same matching emblem, which would be a cool option to have. So there you go, guys. Some just quick and cool and interesting features that have been confirmed from Black Ops 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. It really means a lot. Hopefully my internet is fixed soon so we can play some games together and have some fun. Check out either of the videos on screen if you want. This was Uncle Kobe. Talk to you guys later. Peace.